feel I'm well equipped now to go out there and smash any um, any task um, in any DevOps role now because um, I'm very confident um, that um, I'll be very successful. I'm very confident that I can go into any team now, walk into any team now and contribute um, to the success of the team. My biggest gain out of this uh, <laughs> this training, ironically, is a, actually a DevOps job. Um, I received the confirmation this morning. <laughs> I've been a software QA before, so all the Selenium, the testing, the automation tools and everything was very familiar to me, Python as well, but I lost track of it because I haven't worked in that field in the past six years. Uh, I do a different job right now. I have nothing to do. Well, I do touch up some Azure stuff, but aside from that, it's really something new. Let's just say I had some puzzle pieces and now I'm able to put them together. And this is a huge game for me. I can speak more confident about Terraform and YAML and uh, Kubernetes and yeah, it's perfect. Thank you. Just before the start of the course, when I hear DevOps, it's like, oh, what is this? Oh, so much to learn. Oh no, where do I start from? And all of that, you know. But Daniel has really made everything easy. There's, uh, I, I, all I can just say is, you know, thanks Daniel, you know, for the impartition of knowledge. It's been an enlightening period. Um, I've learned a lot, I've gained a lot, um, gained certain knowledge that, you know, that I like the Ansible kids, um, Jenkins, you know, uh, that are immediately applicable, you know, in the networking, um, environment, which is my own background, you know, and um, other other tools like um, Terraform, you know, uh, Kubernetes and all of that, AWS, look forward to, you know, um, continuing to build on my experience and um, a good, you know, job where all these tools can be applied. Thank you. I uh, participate the course and I'm uh, extremely happy about Daniel. Back in the days, I was in uh, Bulgaria, a similar course to this one, uh, Frotelerik. I can see a lot of difference. Uh, his expertise are very well known. At first, I assumed that, ah, it's easy, busy job. You can do it. I have the practice. I have the experience. But it turns out that I find my missing gaps in all of his practice stuffs. So uh, what I can say, I can just uh, say all of my hands up and say, Daniel, thank you very much, for that. I mean, you're not being here only as a mentor, as a teacher. I also feel as a friend because uh, you are a very open-minded guy and uh, you can always uh, say to us that we can reach out, doesn't matter is it going to be on course or after the course. This course really, really gave me the confidence. Like everyone expressed now, I'm confident with going on the on Linux and go on Kubernetes and write CTL and all the stuff. And this, like uh, two or three months ago, when I had to do this part, I was mostly shaking because I was like, okay, what will I break something or something else? I knew I could read the manual of Kubernetes, read things, but this course brought me the confidence of going there and doing myself on my own. I had a low level exposure to DevOps stuff, like as an enterprise technician at Meta, but it needed something needed to be done on that side. So, um, I mean, tremendous. Like, I'm absolutely happy. Like, as I said, the reason I, I raised my hand right after Leon and to just to echo it that, like, that, that confidence of breaking that barrier to start was all I think I needed as well as a lot of us. Um, so yes, um, I'll be continue working with my projects and I'm really looking forward to my journey in the future. I work in a team where we have uh, our DevOps and then a support together. Uh, I joined there as a support engineer, uh, but after joining the uh, this course, I started picking up a few changes in DevOps side as well. And I, I started uh, picking up small changes like uh, upgrading a small tool using Ansible, modifying Ansible role, and then uh, deploying a new uh, K8 uh, application in Kubernetes cluster, existing cluster. So I got, uh, I gained uh, that confidence after joining this course. So hopefully I'll move into that uh, DevOps team soon. I'm a software engineer. What I do is I write programs. 
but I can tell you from the experience in the class, I know that if I go back, which, which is something I will do, and I sit down and look at all the classes, I, I will be able to compete in the market with other DevOps engineers. Thanks, uh, Doron. You made me, uh, uh, I'm not afraid of DevOps anymore. <laughs> I can tell you that.